Hey guys, Tim Wani here with another video on Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to properly use Gother and how to support your teammates in a raid. Now, if you are new to raiding, you are probably just like, oh crap, what do I do? And this video is for you, okay? Now, there's certain units in the game that are support units, and if you do not have the gear and the power to, you know, battle through an extreme boss battle, these are the units that you probably want to bring to kind of help support your buddy to carry you, okay? So uh, let's go over this, guys, and I'm going to show you the team that we're going to bring. It's a really, really bad team. I'm um, bringing up Kuwasaki's like, alternative account. I'm actually running two accounts on my computer right now. Pretty cool. I'm raiding with myself, basically. So uh, on Kuwasaki's team, uh, there is one unit that, like I said, we're gonna. Sh I'm gonna show you in this video how to properly use Gother. Okay, uh, we're gonna talk a lot about Gother in this video because Gother, even in my opinion, still on JP today, is still the best unit in the game. So uh, it's because of his rank up ability, 100% for that. Uh, next unit we're gonna talk about is Gil Thunder. This. SR unit Gil Thunder. He is awoken to UR, but this SR unit Gil Thunder is also one of the best units in the game. Uh, you can also replace him with Red Arthur because of his buff, uh, but for this video, I like Gil Thunder, okay? And the fight we're going to be doing is Red Demon, which is a CCable unit. Uh, but guys, if you don't have the like the powerhouse teams like that you should be having to beat the extreme raids, I would highly recommend bringing Gil Thunder and go through to every single fight. Now, uh, there are some alternatives, like I said, uh, you can do. Uh, there is actually a blue Elizabeth that's not out yet on global, or you can do uh, Red Arthur, which is also an alternative for Gil Thunder. Now, depending on the fight, now this is where it gets inter interesting, depending on the fight that you're taking uh, depends on the last unit. So we are doing, uh, I'm going to show you today, we're going to do Red Extreme, uh, Red red Demon basically. And for that we need uh, to help support our buddy, so we're going to also be CCing quite a bit for this fight, okay? Now if you don't have Gustav, uh, you can also use Red Merlin, uh, Gustav is available for free in the coin shop. So I definitely recommend picking him up if you don't have him, alright? Um, main reason is uh, Red Demon is CCable, so uh, Gustav has a one cost freeze. Uh, Blue King is also an alternative for the for the spot right here. But if you don't have the damage for Blue King, just run Gustav, man. The gold freeze is enough. The 200% damage gold freeze is enough to help support your buddy to basically one shot the enemy. All right. Okay. So the next thing that we need to hit in this video and this super important is this passive right here. Gother has one of the most busted passives in the game. Increases all allies attack by 10% at the start of the next turn if the hero doesn't take damage. Now, I do not know if this goes to your teammates or not. I know it goes to your, your entire team, but I don't know if it stacks to your teammates as well. Um, all I can tell you is it also increases your damage done by uh, 50%. So stopping Red Demon from doing any damage to any Gothers is always a plus, okay? All right, uh, pretty much covered everything I want to do. Uh, you can see the team guys that I'm going to be running for this only has, I think, 70,000 CC. And I'm going to queue up for an extreme raid with myself. Myself. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I'm going to uh, battle and we're going to go. I have farmed up the red demon, so we're good there. And I'm going to do it on extreme, guys. I was 72 KCP, and I'm going to basically use my account to carry. Now, what I'm trying to prove a point is here, if you do not have a stacked account, you can use this method to help support whatever, you know, friend that you are taking with you, okay? And I'll talk about a little bit about Grey Demon uh, here in a minute, but right now we want to talk about uh, Red Demon. Okay, so let's go grab, I think I'm on my friends list. Am I friended myself? Yep, Demonte. Oh, it shows I'm offline. So let me do this really quick. Sometimes it just does that. If it shows offline, you need to go, uh, let's go to the sacred treasure shop or something. There you go. You see that little loading symbol? That means I should now be online. So when I click friends, yep, Demonte online. Oh, I invited the wrong unit or the wrong guy. So that should be good. Good, good. And Kuwasaki accept. There we go. All right. And so I'm in a raid with myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I set my gear properly. I So I'm going to cut this part out and go do that really fast. But as you can see here, we are raiding at the same time. So that's, that's actually pretty late. I'll be right back. Okay, so going to start this up here. Um, before I start, I'm going to say the main thing that people do wrong with Gother. They don't know how to use them properly. You want to buff everyone's cards. Now, if you're an asshole and you decide to use Gother's buff card on yourself as a bronze, you are an asshole. Don't do that. 
you want to make your teammates cards silver because if you make your teammates cards silver then you can use his gother his silver gother to make your cards gold you see what i'm saying so kind of you got to basically help each other out and i'll show that another thing that people don't know about and i'm also going to talk about here as well you know what each other is starting with basically because every single fight you have the same six cards and the seventh card is random. A lot of people don't realize that. You have two Gother, two Slater, and I'll have two Merlin cards right here. And the seventh card is going to be random. It's kind of curious how this is going to work out. I've never rated with myself before. All right. So they're on a little bit of different time lengths, but that's okay. We're we're doing okay here. Combat class. All right. Rating, rating with myself. Okay. All right. So... Uh, let's see. To start it off, did any of us get Gother? So, here's what I'm talking about. Kuwasaki over here on the left. I, we both got Gother. That's actually quite quite crazy. So, I am going to just kind of show you guys what's up. I'm going to use Gother, right? Then over here on my, my account, I'm going to use these two cards. Um, we'll use a Slater card. And then uh, over here, we are going to freeze with Gustav, all right? Now, I could have done a gold go through. I'm just kind of show you, show you, showing you guys how you actually use this right here, okay? This is how you play Gotha properly. Now, I could have killed him this turn. I'm not going to lie. I could have made everything gold, made a gold freeze, and knocked him out. But I'm just trying to show you guys how important Gotha is and how to viably use him. Because now in my hand, for two turns straight... Oh my gosh. Why don't I get this many Gotha cards when playing... Oh my... Holy crap. Okay. So, here's the next step, right? So, now on my account... I am going to use a Gother card. All right, so all these silvers now become gold. Okay, now mix that with the gold freeze that I have in my hand, and then on top of that, uh, the Slater card. I just killed the first phase, and then over here. Uh, oh, actually, I should use the attack buff. So I even just made a mistake right here. Rating with myself is not easy. Uh, that should still kill the first phase though. So um, we'll go ahead and pop that, and I don't know. I don't. It doesn't even matter at this point. So. I'm, at least I hope. Actually, yeah, he's already half health, so it should kill the first phase with the gold freeze. So I, I made a mistake there. I should have popped the attack buff with Gil Thunder. That's why Gil Thunder is so important, is because he allows you to get. It still did 300k damage. That would have been like 900. No, probably like 500k if that was uh, attack buff. Now you can see in my hand, I have a gold Gother card. I have a more Merlin cards, and I'm, we're going to be constantly buffing each other's cards here. This is how you play Gother. Don't use a bronze on yourself. You wait till you have a silver, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go over here. Um, check this out. So we're gonna do the double go through. Come over here. Everybody's card, all of our cards are gonna turn gold now. That's what's gonna happen. Um, he really doesn't have a freeze. That's crazy. So let's do this and let's do that. That's fine. And that's gonna kill out this phase. Um, the rest doesn't even really kind of matter. All right, Ugh. and you see we're doing this. I'm using the account to support my account, so it really doesn't matter how much damage he does because he's gold freezing for me, and on top of that, he's buffing my characters, and we're getting numbers like that. Okay, that's how you use Gother. All right, I'm hoping that I can pull a CC here because I don't have any good cards in my hand. We have nothing but uh, we have nothing but Merlin cards. We're at a go. Oh, I've got one Gother card. What have we got over here? I do have a freeze though. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna burn this phase, guys. We're just gonna use one, two, and over here. Let's get rid of this ult. It keeps popping up. Uh, let's use this, this, and then I'm hoping for some Slater cards because we don't have any. Uh, this should still do a good amount of damage to him because we haven't got hit. Look at that. Because we haven't got hit in like five turns now, our damage is 50% higher because of Gother's passive. This is why, like, you gotta support your teammate and you do things properly. I don't think this go uh, did 15k damage. Gustav, ugh, 11k. Nothing crazy. These guys might need to have gear on them. Don't really care for this, you know, for the sake of the video. All right, and um, we still have pretty good buffs on us. Uh, so I think this will actually kill. We don't need to even need to use another Gother card. So we're gonna do that, that, and that, and then over here. Let's see what happens. Shouldn't even matter at this point. I'm pretty sure my Merlin can take it out with what he has left on him. Ugh. Oh, maybe not. This might be bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Kuwasaki, 
You better be able to kill him. <laughs> I, I misjudged that last part. Yosh! Oh my god, that only did a thousand damage. Oh my god, really? Really, game? Okay, so even then, we ran out of freezes. That happens. Uh, I'm going to be able to kill him next turn. I'm not even worried about it. Actually, he has these... Uh, did he go on stance? Even if Kuwasaki's units dies. But you see, we're able to support... No, he's dead, bro. He's not even in a stance. So that Slater card will kill. Um, really, I should have combined the Gotha card, but it doesn't even matter at that point. This is over. Like... Uh, let's do this. Choppy choppy! Okay, so he's dead. Alright guys, so to sum up the video, never use a bronze Gother card on yourself. That is just wrong, okay? Um, it's, give it a turn, try to get a silver. If you use, like, there are some situations, every fight is different. Like, if you're doing a uh, Grey Demon, yes, there are some situations where both players are like, okay, you buff your cards, I buff my cards, and let's see if we can kill this bastard. But that is not the case on Red Demon for sure. Um, if you if you can't CC the enemy like Grey Demon and Crimson Demon, I would highly recommend bringing Green Merlin in place of Gustav or uh, Red Merlin. At, you know for the freeze. Reason for that is because the shield. If you need to buy time until you can get a Silver Gother, put that shield on, bro. Like absorb some of that damage, buy you some time. Now uh, the shield is basically. You know, the, how strong the shield is determined is determined by how strong your attack power is and the grade of the card. So, I mean, at least it's something. At least you're helping out. Like, don't just bring some random bullcrap unit that doesn't do anything for the fight. Bring support. Green Guild Thunder is great. Red Arthur is great. Gother should be on all raid teams. And then on top of that, uh, probably Green Merlin uh, for, for support. If you don't have, like, Demon Melee, you don't have Green King, that's who you want to bring. Alright guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If not, let me know in the comments. If you guys have any questions that you want me to answer, let me know down in the comments as well. My admins will be taking a look at it to try to help uh, answer some questions. Also, join Discord. We have a great community in Discord for 7 Daily Sins, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Laters.